Now, sometimes you have to sketch out a quadratic function that's in the form of y equals x plus a squared plus b. Okay. Sometimes you see it as x plus p squared plus q. Okay. Now, this is you've talked at these before when you're doing completing the square. Now, these values there actually tell you the turning point. Okay, so they'll tell you whether it's a graph, the turning point is down there, or so that's when it's a positive x squared, it's positive, it's happy, and when it's negative, it's the graph's going down that way. Okay, now what you'll find is remember when we were doing straight lines, don't know why that did that, but when we we're doing straight line graphs. You'd have found that was like y equals x. If I went y equals maybe x plus 2, that shifted it up the y-axis by 2. And it's the same as this. This number represents the y-value okay, of the turning point. This represents or the minus a, okay, so minus minus a is the x value of the turning point. And that's actually how you work out the turning point using this formula, okay. So the value of b is the y value and the value of minus a is the x value. So your essentially your turning point would look like this. I'll do a wee example just to let you see how you'd work that out. Okay, so if I sc scroll down here, right? So here's here's a wee example. So what you've got there is we'll just say y equals x minus one squared plus five. Okay, now that five is your b. That one is your minus a. So what we then need to do is just work that out. Okay, so your turning point coordinates are whatever minus a is and whatever the b is. Okay, so what we've got is is minus minus one, right? So we've got minus minus one because the minus in front of it is important and b is just five. So now we know the turning point is at 1, 5. Okay, so that, again, given in this form, that value, without changing it, that's a y value. This value, the turning point is minus a. So if there's a minus in front of it, you're talking about a positive x value for your turning point. If there's a plus in front of it, you're talking about a minus. So you would have a graph that, I keep on pressing now, you button by mistake, you would have a graph that has a turning point of 1, 5. And it would look something like that. Obviously, we would need to work out where it cuts the x axis, and that's when you would make x equal zero. Okay, so you would make x equal zero, and if x equals zero, just write that. So that is zero minus one squared plus five. That equals minus one squared plus five, which is equal to six. So that's where it would actually cut the y axis at six, and that's your turning point. But that's the main thing you want to get out of it. B is the y value and minus A is the x value. So hopefully that's helped a bit.